Pakistan, the economic struggle is ever growing. The country is figuring out ways to meet the key objectives of its International Monetary Fund program. Fearing to meet the fate of embattled Sri Lanka, the Finance Minister Mifta Ismail has now stated that if the government does not abolish fuel subsidies till July, Pakistan would go bankrupt. The statement from Pakistan's Finance Minister refers to the hurdles in reviving the IMF program. The IMF has insisted on abolishing the subsidies on petroleum products and if these petrol product subsidies are not abolished, the minister said there will be no IMF deal. This could be a hint at another increase in prices of fuel, which have seen massive hikes in recent months. However, the government is still giving 19 rupees subsidy on petrol and 53 rupees subsidy on diesel. The minister used Sri Lanka as an example to make the case, adding that the island nation also gave huge subsidies to its public and it eventually defaulted. The finance minister reportedly told Prime Minister Sheba Sharif to take some tough calls in order to avoid meeting the fate of Sri Lanka. Last week, Pakistan unveiled a 9.5 trillion Pakistani rupee budget, which is about $47 billion. And this was for the year 2022-23. The budget needs to be passed by Parliament as Pakistan's financial year runs from July 1st to June 30. The budget proposes to give additional powers to the Federal Board of Revenue. The finance bill empowers the FBR to ensure that the annual income tax returns and also take action against active taxpayers who are not submitting their returns as required under law. The FBR will disable mobile phones or SIMs of those users who do not file their returns. In addition, electricity and gas connections will also be disconnected. In the wake of rising fuel and dollar prices, Pakistan's domestic airlines have increased their ticket prices by 25%. The prices of two-way tickets for flights from Lahore to Dubai, Sharjah, Karachi, Toronto and Saudi Arabia have been increased. And that's not all. Islamabad is also facing heat from the financial crime watchdog. That is the Financial Action Task Force. The plenary meeting is set this week. Pakistan has given a plan of action to complete by October. It was given this plan in October 2019, but due to its failure to comply with the FATF mandate, the country has been on the grey list for more than four years now. Beyond World is One is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news updates on the move.